Hi folks, in this video we're going to look at how to create a progress bar chart using the char and repeat functions in Google Sheets. Visualising your progress can be a real motivator to getting stuff done, so these charts are really useful when you combine them with things like to-do lists and, and other tasks that you might have listed in Google Sheets. Not many people are familiar with the, the char and repeat function, but I think it's a really useful one if you want to you know, sort of lay out the, the bar chart in this sort of fashion with these little cubes, if you like, the little uh, emoji icons. So let's dive in and take a look at how the repeat function works to start off with. So if we type in here repeat and choose that. So it's asking us to put the text that we want to repeat in here. So we need to put that into inverted commas here. So let's just say something like that. And we'll close that. And next, we want to know how many repetitions do we want of that, that word, in this case, ha. So let's just put four. And so you can see there what it's going to do. So let's just close the parentheses and hit enter. And that's what you get at the end of it. Well, so you're probably thinking, well, what good is that, you know, with, with using that for a chart? So the good thing is, is as I say, we can use um, emoji icons and we can use that in, in place of this, this text here. And we do that using the char function. So let me just quickly show you what the char function does. If we look, look here and say equals char, basically short for character. Now you need to, to know the character um, HTML code that you want to use. And I've got a link below the video to useful websites where you can get those from. And there's also a link to my website with the full detail about um, this this method of creating a bar chart as well as how to use the sparkline function as well. So for now I'm just going to put in this code and you can see there that we get the little green emoji showing up here. So if I close that, that's what you get when you use the char function. You can use the char function for all sorts of things. You know, for example, you could do something like this to get an arrow, a downward arrow, or to get the upward arrow, that type of thing. So they're really useful functions to use. And this is just one method that you can use to, to create the progress bar chart. Okay, so let's assume that we've got uh, 10 tasks that we want to, to complete. So let's just clear this out here. And so our, our task list is 10 tasks long, but we've done two of those tasks. So we're just repeating what we've got over here. So two is, is the sort of tasks that we've done already and the ones that are left are going to be blank to start off with and I'll show you how to get these grey ones in there as well afterwards. So what we want to do to start off with is do the repeat function and instead of typing in the, the word like we did before, now we're going to put in the char function. So all we do is we just do that same number we did before close that parentheses there and then what we want to do now is to put the number of repetitions in here. So the repetitions we want we're going to use this number two here so this is the tasks that we've completed. So we could just type two in here and we'll get two little green squares but to make this a little bit more dynamic we're going to use this reference with the two in it here. So if we close the parentheses now and hit enter we get our two green little squares. Now what we want to try and do is we want to tell the formula how many total bars or how many total squares do we need and how many are completed. So we're going to need to join some formulas together here. I mean I know we kind of done that already using the repeat and char but we're going to go a little bit further this time. So we'll keep what we've got in here already this is fine with what we've got here. But now we're going to just concatenate another fun function on the end of this. And we can do that with the ampersand like this. And then we can add a new function at the end here. So we can just do the same thing again. So we'll do a repeat and a char. And we'll use a different number this time. So let's do this one. This is the gray emoji. And so the number of repetitions that we want now is going to be 10. 
And so what we want is we want the 10 tasks, which is right now we have 12. So we've got four, six, eight, 10. So we've got 10 grays and two greens. So we want to take this 10 and then take away what we've completed over here. So then we're left with eight gray boxes and two green. So let's close the parentheses there. And so there we go. We get the the progress here. And so if we, for example, completed seven tasks, then you can see seven green and three gray. If you don't want to show the gray in there at all, then what we can do is let's just copy this down here. So we're copying this number and we're copying the formula that's currently in this cell. So we'll copy this down below. Let's just change this to two again. So what we could do in here is we could just change this second um, character function to the number 32. And what that does is it just basically puts um, blank, blank spaces in there so you can't see anything. Personally, I don't think that's particularly useful because you can't see um, the representation of what's outstanding, but you know some people might like that. And then equally, you know, you might think, well, I, I want some more definition here. So we could use, instead of a 32, we could use something like the orange. So we can definitely see what we've got done. So if we put five in here, for example, you can clearly see um, what's done and what's outstanding. And there are a ton of other sort of options that you can do as you can see over here. So if we just copy this down again, so let's put in here eight, for example. So let's say that we want to change this to the stars. So that's the, ooh, there we go. And We'll just take this bit out of the end here. So there you go. So there's the stars there. So that just uses that HTML code of one one zero eight eight. And again, you know, you can change this to get to change how many stars you've got there. And then the Ukrainian colors for the hearts, slightly different again on this one. So let's actually copy this one over here. So this one uses two different two HTML codes. 128153 for the blue hearts and 128155 for the yellow. So everything else remains the same. You know, we're still, this part here is, is the first part. So this gives us our blue hearts. So basically what we're saying is, well, here's here's our hearts. That's the, the heart that we're, we're saying we want to repeat. And then the repeat says, well, how many times? And this is the number of times over here. And then what we do is we just add another function to the end of that. And so again, this is the yellow heart now. And then we repeat that 10 times less however many has been completed here. So this is just a, a separate sort of um, mathematical function in itself, 10 minus whatever's over here. Um, and so that's the number of repetitions. In this case, it's five. So we're just joining those two together to get something like this at the end. So that pretty much wraps up the um, progress bar charts for the char and repeat function. I, I find them really useful. I've got to say they're, they're, they're really good to sort of highlight um, progress or, you know, just sort of scoring systems you might have in your sheets, that type of thing. But um, my favorite has to be the sparkline function. And I think we'll look at that separately uh, because it's, it's so much more powerful. You know, not only can you do stuff like this, but you can do a whole lot more with sparkline functions. So we'll look at that in a separate video. All of the links to the Unicode HTML codes I've used in this video I'll post down below, so make sure you check those out. Also, make sure you check out the website spreadsheetwise.com and you'll find there that there's a whole article on how to do the progress bar chart using this char and repeat function as well as the sparkline function as well. So make sure you check that out. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks folks, see you next time.